Hello. Here we are, once again, in my grandmother's bathroom, dyeing my hair. Hey guys, it's Lily. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel today. I have another hair dyeing video. Hair dyeing video. Okay, let me stop. So yes, before anyone asks, my shirt is on backwards. Yeah, I'm using this shirt because I never wear it anymore. I don't watch Vampire Diaries. This is Damon on my back. I was obsessed with it, but now I don't really watch it anymore. So now this is gonna be my designated hair dyeing shirt. So yes, if you've never been to my channel before, my name is Lily and every summer I dye my hair a crazy color. Usually it's around the same color. I've never done like orange or yellow or green or lime green. Yeah, no, I've never done that. But I usually do pink and purple blue like mix sort of thing. Probably like three years ago I did pink and purple ombre. Two years ago I did hot pink which turned out horribly wrong. And then last year I did like a unicorn pink purple blue mix. This year I'm going to be doing a violet purple root with pink in the middle and then going down to a light pink. <laughs> so every time I try to attempt to dye my hair, I always have a visual or inspiration for my hair and it usually never turns out the way that the picture looks because um, I'm not a professional. I'm doing this by myself. I don't have anyone helping me. So yeah, so here is my visual, my inspiration for this year's look. I'm really excited about it and I really hope it turns out well. I have actually a lot of selections of hair dye this year. Um, I've just racked up the hair dye throughout the years and I just bought these two today from Ulta. Ulta did not have a wide variety of hair colors. So Ulta, I'm gonna need you to step up your game because you didn't give me much, so whatever. This is my oldest hair dye that I own. This is Atomic Turquoise by Manic Panic. This is literally so old. I've had this literally since like sixth grade. And then I have this punky color. This is flamingo pink. This is so pink. This is a pink that I used two years ago to dye my whole head pink. As you can tell from just looking at it in the bottle, it's so dark and it turns out to be like bright, bright pink. This is Manic Panic Cotton Candy Pink. So I really like this color. I think this will look really good in the middle. I don't think it's going to be too dark. And then this is the purple that I found. This is Mystic Heather. For the bottom of my hair, when I want it to fade it to a light pink, I have a bunch of different options. So this is the Ion Bright Hottie Pink. These are from Sally's. I don't have much left, but this is what it looks like in the bottle. It's a really hot pink, but it fades. This brand, what I've found is it, it doesn't turn out that bright on the hair. I have this Sparks, which is super, super light. It just gives you like a very light pink. This is in the color Pink Kissy. I think this is only online because when I bought this, this brand was super big and I bought it and I put it in my hair and I was like, really and this one is the ion brights again and this is flamingo pink and i've only used a little bit of this hair color so this is more of a lighter pink so i'll probably use the majority of this one so yeah this one's definitely a lot lighter so i'll probably mix this one and the other ion color but when i dye my hair colors it's not as scary as bleaching my hair because when you bleach your hair, there's really no going back. But when you dye your hair colors, it fades over time. I have a big paper plate and then I have a smaller paper plate to mix the colors. And I have my gloves. These are really big gloves, but whatever. And then I have my little Bold Unique brush, which if you have not seen my how to get rid of yellow hair, I will link that down below. I'll link all my hair videos down below. And then of course, Vaseline to protect my neck and ears from color. So the first things first is I'm gonna have to separate my hair. So I'm parting my hair down the middle and I have hair ties and clips today. 
And that split down the middle actually looks pretty good today. I'm just gonna go from bottom to top like this. Section it off like this, and I'm just gonna go from bottom to top. I don't know if that's correct or right. Probably isn't. Oh wait, shoot, I need to on my Vaseline first. So it's currently 233. So I'm going to try to get my hair coloring done by 315. So hopefully that happens. So here is the first piece that I am doing. I'm going to start with Mystic Heather. Ooh, that is really pretty. So here is what it looks like coming out of the bottle. So it's definitely more of a pink than a purple. Maybe I'll mix it with blue. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that. Let me see what it looks like when I mix it with the blue. Maybe I'll mix some of this punky. Oh yeah, it's more purple. I'm gonna put this on a paper towel or on a tissue and see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that is way better. So that is more of a violet. So that's what I'm gonna do. that's far enough up yep so that's what it looks like now we're gonna go into the pink so I'm actually going to take the mystic Heather and then do that next and then I'm gonna mix the mystic Heather and the cotton candy oh yeah that is a bubblegum pink right there yeah that is bubblegum pink all the hair is saturated and evenly dispersed and there is the first strand done all right and then I'm going to go and just do the rest now Okay, I'm back. It is 4.01, so it's been about an hour. <laughs> Remember when I said I was gonna finish this at 3.15? Yeah. So I'm going to try to get my hair coloring done by 3.15. That didn't happen. But anyway, here is what my hair looks like before washing it out. Um, I actually think it looks really good. I mean, obviously I haven't washed it out the pinks that i picked up these pinks they're a lot less opaque than what i thought they 
are more of a thinner consistency. So I blended them together and like I did the blue, pink, and this pink and I blended that together for the root. And then I did this after that and then I did um, blended these together after that and then I did this pink and the Ion Brights pink. I think it's going to turn out really good. It's not going to be as bright neon, which I'm glad about. Yeah, leave for 30 minutes. And it says just rinse color in cold water away from face and body until it runs almost clear. So yeah, I'm going to wait for this for 30 minutes. And in that time, I'm gonna do my makeup. And then um, when I am done, I will wash it out and dry it and see what it looks like. Okay guys, I'm back and I have makeup on. So I'm about to go take out the product now. It is 4.35. So let's hope for the best. It says you don't have to put on any shampoo or conditioner. So here's what it looks like before it's rinsed out. Let's do this. All right, so my hair is in a towel now. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and I'll come back and blow dry my hair and curl it and see how it looks. I'm gonna let it down. Okay, here we go. I definitely see I didn't get all the product out, but ooh, it definitely looks more pink than purple, but hey, that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this in my hair. It's coconut oil, five in one leave-in spray. Put that all over my hair. Go ahead and brush out my hair. All right, well, let's blow dry it and that will give us the final verdict. First glance, I love this color. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. This might be my favorite hair I've ever had. Oh my gosh, wow, I love that color. I love the mixture that I used. I think that was such a good choice. I wish it was a little bit more vibrant, like on the ends. All right, I'm gonna curl it a little bit. is the final look oh my gosh it's so beautiful this is definitely my favorite hair that i've done just because like it just it doesn't look too crazy doesn't look too wild i love it so much Well, 
If you guys like this video, make sure to thumbs it up. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. There's a bunch of my hair videos I've done before and plenty to come. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram, which is lily underscore bear with three R's. They saw it here first. Or they saw it there first. So make sure to go follow me on my Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below any requests you want to see from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.